estimates as well. David and Sandra, we always see you as a, you know, a couple goals. <laughs> Come on, tell us how you work stuff out. Do you t chat to other people or? We, well, I'm, I'm the same generation as you. I, I don't, I wouldn't talk to anybody else. But we've, um, we've been married a long while, haven't we? And you, we, we have to work through things. We don't use, uh, I don't know whether Sandra does it. I don't talk to anybody else. And we try and work it through. And I know if I've, um, if, if I've got to bring it to an end, because she might, she'll say to me, well, um, you don't want any uh, apple pie then or something making or, I, you know, it's a, I mean, it's a bit of a joke, but I mean, really, it's about trying to it's diffuse. A, it's about moving forward as fast as you can, yeah. but trying to find some middle ground. And I think the key to a really healthy relationship is just to step back and try and listen to what the partner's saying and have some understanding of what they're telling you. That's hard, though, when you're really annoyed with them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the heat of an argument, I don't want to be listening. But you can give yourself a little bit of space. I mean, I think yeah. that's the end. Because yeah. you've got to try and see where the other person's coming from, haven't you? If you yeah. do then any amount of counselling isn't going to help. Yeah, well, what if you're always right? Yeah, what if you are always <laughs> right? <laughs> Sandra, didn't you have a bit of an incident with an emoji? I did, I did. Yeah, I, I once sent a customer, um, it was a Harry Potter party that I was doing for her, and I just kind of looked through them all because I didn't think they had meanings. So I saw one and I thought, oh, that looks like a Harry Potter hat. So I did it at the end rather than a smile. And when I met her, she said, I thought I'd upset you because she'd sent me a pooey merchant. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>